Hey cuties, Peachy here, welcome back to a new video and in this video we have some monster news to talk about. From our first look at the new fan club exclusive collector operetta doll, sightings in real life of the series 2 crew productions, new stock photos of G3 dolls, G3 caddy updates, we also have new updates on the Wednesday dolls and more so stay tuned and let's get into it. Okay, first up G3 news, we have new stock photos of the monster fest and individually sold dolls which are Cleo, Frankie, Claudine and Laguna. Obviously Draculaura is also in the Monster Fest lineup but she's uh, her doll is exclusive to the Monster Food Truck playset so she is not sold separately unfortunately. Um, but yeah the packaging we've seen in the last video I believe we had we already we even already have like real life pictures of the packaging found from I guess like somewhere I don't know but um yeah it looks really good. The packaging the the box is uniquely shaped um the artwork on the back is the same like the the back of the box is the same for all four um the the titling like it's like the huge uh, monster fest name in the back and then we have like text um the artwork looks really fun uh but it looks like it's like a really a coachella setting like in the artwork on the back of the box we can really see like yeah it's like it's like a concert it's like a lot of monsters are there it's like a lot of neon lights so um you can really get the it really feels like coachella <laughs> so i'm very excited for monster fest as a line but also in, in a series like um animated series I, i'm very excited to see like how that will turn out um, and how the characters will actually end up looking like in their new outfits. So that's going to be very exciting. Um, overall, I mean, every time I see new pictures of these dolls, I think, yeah, I think they keep growing on me. Even though um, Cleo's pants, like I wish they were longer or like, I don't know, had like a flare. Uh, but yeah, I'm just, I'm glad that she's wearing pants. Like I wish we would have gotten like a Cleo um accurate core doll that looks like her actual animated series counterpart otherwise i think you know laguna looks really cute claudine's actually kind of cute uh frankie is really good and then of course draculaura poor draculaura she got the short end short short end of the stick because you know her her monster fest doll obviously is so basic in comparison to the other four ghouls but yeah this lineup looks really promising let's not forget we're also getting a brand new character introduced called phoenix i wonder if she will also be getting a doll in this lineup but it seems that they will be releasing sometime in may and then we also have a new stock photo of g3 caddy it's just one new stock photo but it's her in a new cute pose um yeah you know i think i really like her doll like she's really cute the hair the makeup i like her color palette i like her boots just i think the dress could have been in better you know tailored for her new body type and like the belt could have been like designed differently i just feel like um yeah it could have been better but like overall like it's she's pink it's a cat doll and like she's really cute like yeah i'm gonna get her like i think even though people are not like unanimously in love with her i think overall once you actually see her in person i, I think a lot of people are gonna change their minds because she's she's really cute like really cute and especially now that we also have uh, more information on her in the animated series we have our first look here at her you know model um it looks very promising she looks so cute i like the high ponytail like the the braids and her hair actually look really great um the face so adorable again and she's gonna get a new song as well so um this is all sounding very promising i'm very happy for you know g3 caddy i'm i'm liking what i see speaking of animated series we also have a new picture here of g3 skeleta and jennifer it also shows us basically like when we'll get new episodes again because i believe this week we haven't gone a new episode and last week also no new episodes i could be mistaken time is like bizarre to me <laughs> But um, yeah, this is very exciting because this basically means that um, starting on the 15th of April, again, we'll get new episodes. Very exciting. And I guess we'll get to see more of Jennifer and Skeleta, hopefully. So yeah, I can't wait because Jennifer really had shockingly little screen time in the, you know, Scared Eyes special. Um, and Skeleta, she did already have her own little, you know, episode with Draculaura. But obviously, you know, it's always great to see more of these new characters. So I'm very excited. Next up, we have new stock photos for the School to Mid Secrets series for Mystery Monsters dolls. We have kind of like an instruction here, manual on what you're supposed to do, like how you're supposed to unbox these dolls and like pick because it's like an experience or whatever you're really like paying for an experience apparently you're supposed to look for clues and then like use the key and you know whatever uh 
you just basically use the key and you unlock the door and that's it <laughs> but of course they want you to look for clues and all that jazz so yeah but i'm pretty sure you can just skip all that and just like use the key um but it, it looks fun and then obviously we also have um the stock photos for the front of the boxes or where we can see also the um new artwork for the you know the the, the characters and it looks really fun like obviously each character looks really cute and we also have uh actually new stock photo here specifically for draculaura because previously uh this stock photo of her only wearing the bodysuit was missing but um here it is yay and she looks really cute so there you go um this you know series four looks very promising to me i think it they have a lot of accessories a lot of pieces um the theming i think is so cute and very versatile as well i think the main issue to for me with the, these new uh the series four here comes in form of these new the, the new boxes they're very bulky they're very big and they're very it's all plastic so it's it's just not very environmentally friendly and it's just it takes up a lot of space and like what you're gonna do with the boxes <laughs> it just it really sucks but other than that i think yeah this the series four mystery monsters very fun looks very cool and of course series five will have the same uh premise same gimmick like with this series just with new characters and of course venus and twyla will be uh included in that series which is so exciting you know venus yes oh my god i can't wait but that's next year we also so. have new stock photos of the packaging for the fear book dolls of jackie laura whose activity is the drama club for torla here it's the music club or maybe it's just like her practicing in the his fits band you know with the wear cat switching on over to G1 News, here we have new listings for the Wednesday dolls found on Amazon. We now know a confirmed time space of when these will release around August. So yeah, I guess we'll be, uh, you know, it'll, it, they will probably release sometime around summer, August. The you know the new Wednesday dolls, at least the Wednesday dolls that are not sold on Mattel Christians only, so not the Collector 2 pack with uh, Wednesday and Morticia Adams. We're talking here about the Wednesday dolls that are based on the Netflix series of Wednesday, um, which includes the Wednesday core doll, Wednesday Enid core doll, and then the Wednesday in her Raven dress, you know, from the big ball ball scene, prom scene. I don't know. Uh, it's, it's been a couple years, right, since Wednesday happened on Netflix. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, they're coming very soon this August, this summer. Very exciting. Although that price point, yeah, does not excite me. That's They're very expensive. <laughs> 40 each. 40 bucks each that's like a lot of money for one doll but okay oh, let's let's see if they're worth it i really hope so because um they could be really special but they could also just be really um yeah cheap and not be worth that amount of money uh but i am happy that at least they'll be more accessible to a lot of international fans because they'll be you know sold through amazon so that's at least good Moving on yes we have real life sightings of the recently released series of two crew production Boo original crew production dolls um this was a surprise because i wasn't really sure if these would actually be sold in store um so far we had on we had only really known that they would be amazon you know related and then perhaps online on target and walmart but um i guess monster high was not lying when they said on the comments on their post that they would be also showing up in store locations so that is very exciting so if you are interested if you live in the us and you are very interested in in these series two crew production dolls um then keep a lookout whenever you enter target or walmart or just check out cleo's now on instagram they usually share um the latest location of you know like the real life sightings of these dolls in the locations so um this is very exciting you know yeah it's always exciting when like new dolls come out and it's like you can actually go doll hunting for the dolls you want like that nostalgia feeling that 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 feeling is something we're very specific to going like you can only get that feeling by going in person to to find these dolls in person it's just such a thing you cannot really plan it's like so sporadic and in the moment so i'm very happy this is happening and obviously you know it sucks for international fans because i don't really know if we'll get the same treatment um but again hopefully the restock will be great and it'll be smooth and on amazon and then um you know it'll be more easier for people from 
from all over the world to be able to get these new crew production dolls. And then of course, series one of the crew productions will be restocking later this year. So that's also very exciting. But have you found these series two crew productions in person, in store? Let me know down below. And then finally, yes, let's talk about the official reveal of the first ever collector operetta doll who's gonna be a fan club members exclusive. She will be dropping on April 12th and retail 50 US dollars. Now, of course, not including shipping, which we all know is gonna cost a lot more if you're international. International shipping costs are about 30 US dollars. Um, and of course, the membership, if you don't have a membership already, costs 10 bucks. So that basically means if you're international, you'll be paying a uh, hundred something for this doll. If you're in the US, but with the membership, um, it'll be a less than a hundred. I'm not sure if they charge shipping in the US, it might be different. Uh, but yeah, definitely cheaper in the US and definitely expensive internationally. So yeah, what, what do we think? Um, first impressions, I think I obviously, looking back at the leak, a very blurry, very pixelated leak, uh, that was technically our first look at this doll. I think we, we kind of had um, bigger expectations because it kind of looked like a new silhouette. It kind of looks very, you know, like, ooh, we could, she could look good. And now with the actual reveal, we can see that the dress is mainly uh, a pencil skirt, but then it kind of flares out at the bottom, which then once again, kind of turns this outfit into a mermaid style silhouette. Um, it, I know. How do we keep? <laughs> oh my god! How do we keep getting these dolls with the same style of dress? I mean, it's it's insane. Uh, it's insane. It's always the same dress. If not, it's always like a very cheesy like pattern, and it's so simple. And I don't know. Like Rebecca Shipman is the one who designed this designed um this doll and Gulak Gulia. Uh, was designed by Anna, Anna, Annalise, right? Yeah, so, um, and, and she, that doll is like a fan favorite. I have her even, and, and she, yeah, she's really good. I never even unboxed her. And I'm comparing the two, uh, you can really tell, like, d what? <laughs> like, at least with Gulia, the design was really good, and you could kind of understand why you would pay 50 for her. But with Operetta here, is she just the dress, the print, the pattern? It's like, what are we looking at? It's like so simple. Um, like there's just nothing really, wow, amazing about her. I, I, I'm sad to say, um, cause yeah, I think in the blurry picture, you know, I kind of had this impression like, oh, yeah okay i, I can i can kind of see what they're doing here um and i had hopes that maybe you know she had a she would have like a a side glance or, or like rooted lashes or something like deluxe feeling like that but nope no no rooted lashes no side glance um they did update her face screening though so that's um, not even like an imp they did update it but like i don't think in to for the better because <laughs> if you if you compare i think the original face screening for operetta still looks better uh here the eyes are bigger and the lips are like a different shape so yeah it's just weird i do like the bow and like the spider pets being on top of the bow i like the the earrings i, I like the neck scarf uh, the dress, like I mentioned, it's just a pencil skirt and then like it's ruined by the little frill which then makes it into like a mermaid style silhouette. I really hate that. Like I cannot believe we still, we keep getting mermaid style silhouettes. Like it's, it's bizarre. I mean, at this point it has to be like a, an inside joke, you know, at Mattel. Like, oh yes, let's, let's keep giving them mermaid style dresses. Like, yes, yes, yes. We'll drive them crazy. Um... I mean, it has to be because like Mattel has to be aware that like they're using that silhouette way too much. Like it's becoming like, again, ridiculous. Like I just wish that it would have been more of an ingenious uh, design, more original, I guess. Just, you know, coming for, from a more genuine place. This to me feels more like, like, yeah, like just a, a, a standard collector doll. And it really sucks to see that Operetta here kind of got like, you know, she got robbed of like a full on collector doll, I would say. Um, not again, not to say she's it's not a bad doll. I, I think at least she's not 70. <laughs> you know, at least she doesn't cost 75. 
Like with Lenore, that really sucked. At least she's 50, but even then you gotta pay the membership, which is 60. Uh, she's still a pretty penny, you know? Like, she's still expensive. And she only comes with, like, a purse, a pet, and that's it. Like, not uh, not even a brush, I don't think. Like, just a stand. Um, yeah, very, very simple. I don't know. I think she's fine. She's cute. Not for me. I'm not gonna get her. Um, I think, like, her design could have definitely been improved and more interesting looking but you know she's fine for what she is and if you like her i totally get where you're coming from if i had the money and if i had the space and you know different conditions in life um yeah i would perhaps get her but i'm not gonna get her i have gula gula gulia uh gulax gulia and she's she's really stunning so yeah who do you think is better gulax gulia or you know operetta here because I, I definitely think like gulax gulia still so much better uh but yeah where are you disappointed from operetta here do you still like her will you will you be getting her uh i'm, I'm very curious to know because yeah to to me she feels like a lackluster design like that's that's the word she's lackluster she's not bad she's not amazing she's just lackluster like she's what you expect mattel to do and that doesn't that's not really a compliment <laughs> that's not a compliment it's just a reality unfortunately and so. that was the video i hope you all enjoyed leave a like share comment subscribe hit the notification bell and consider becoming a member today to support the channel and of course so you don't miss out when i post more content like this coming your way and keeping you up to date with all the all tea you love stay safe be kind i hope this next time stay peachy kisses